Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of how to solve the Rubik's Cube using logic. This part is on the yellow cross, or the uh, last layer edge pieces. So what we're going to be doing is, first we're going to make all the yellow edge pieces face up, and then we're going to move them around uh, to solve them and put them in their final position. So unfortunately at this point in solving the cube, there's going to be pretty much just algorithms left to, uh, to learn. But I'm going to be giving you some memorization tips so that it's a lot easier to learn these algorithms than just straight memorization. Uh, so hopefully uh, they help and uh, let's get into it. So the first thing, or uh, should I say case, is the horizontal line case as I like to call it. and. Um, I call it that because it looks like a horizontal line and also that's how you're going to hold the cube when you start the algorithm. So uh, the algorithm is, goes like this. In a cube notation it would be F R U R prime U prime F prime. Once again, uh, I'm going to turn the front face, bring the right side up like this, move the top over bring the right side back down, move the top back over, and the front side uh, revert that back. So there's a couple ways to help memorize this. Uh, first thing that you can observe is that there are only three sides that move, the front side, the upside, and the right side, and they move once, and then they're reverted. So let's observe that. So the front side moves once over, right side moves once, upside moves once no now we start to revert everything then the right side goes back down the upside goes uh, back where it was and then the front side goes back also um, if you remember the edge insertion algorithms from the second layer it's just an F and then the first four moves of the left side case and then F prime so F and then it's actually just the first four moves, if you remember that, then F prime. So if you can remember that, uh, that actually would be pretty easy to remember. You can also watch things that happen uh, while you're doing the algorithm around the cube. So if you see pairs and things moving around, uh, you can just kind of remember where they go. And then you can figure out, you know, what moves to do by that. So that's the first case. The second case I like to call the lowercase r case because the edges look like a lowercase r and once again it's also how you're going to hold it. Now this algorithm is going to be really easy to remember once you learn the first one because the only difference is instead of moving the front face uh, out and back like this, you're just going to hold two layers when you do those two moves. So that's going to be small f is what it's called, then r, u, R prime, U prime, small f prime. So once again, both front layers, right side up, top side over, right side back down, top side back over, and then both front layers back. And uh, that's pretty much it for that one. And then for no edges, just pick one of those algorithms and then just do it. So I'll just do the horizontal line case. And then whatever you're left with, just solve it. So lowercase r case here. So that's the small f1. And then when we come back, uh, we have the all four yellow edge pieces face up. Okay, so the next part that we're gonna do is we are going to uh, move the edge pieces around the top to solve them in their final positions. So uh, what I mean by that is in between the corresponding center pieces, just like in the white cross. And it should be really obvious at this point since uh, most of the side is now completed for uh, since we've completed the first two layers. So as you can see, uh, the yellow orange edge piece and the yellow green edge piece are in the correct positions. And then uh, the two here are not. Now actually what we're going to have to do is we are going to orient the top layer so that only one edge piece and only one, not more, not less, only one piece is matching up. So 
We have two matching up, we can't have that. Um, so we want to orient it so we only have one. So just keep moving the top and just keep checking. So here, uh, blue is matched. This is not, this is not, this is not. So we can use this um, orientation of the top layer. Now if you have it so you have two pieces that match opposite to each other and you can't do anything about it, I'm going to go over that case later. So how we want to hold the cube is just have that, on, that one and only piece that's matching facing you. And now here comes uh, the last algorithm for the yellow cross. And that is in cube notation R U R prime U R U2 R prime. And you may have to do that twice, but in this case, um, it actually did solve. So that actually cycles these three edges around until they're solved, which is why you only can have one edge piece uh, matching when you start it. So you may have to do that again. I'll go over this uh, algorithm a couple more times so you guys can learn it. So once again, right side up, top side over, right side down, top side over in the same direction again, right side back up, top side back over as you can see that pair is being like reinserted into the slot and brought back down. So uh, I find the easiest way to remember this is to watch this pair here in the lower right corner and watch how it moves. So the first move brings it up, second move moves it out, uh, the third move kind of rehides this slot where it used to be, uh, fourth move moves it further over, the last three moves uh, kind of reinsert it. So it brings up this slot, moves it all the way over, and then brings it back down. So once more, I'll just do this, and you can watch. And uh, of course, the algorithm will be in the description. And so that's how it looks. Now the other case, uh, where you have the two opposite, like this, so you have either two opposite like this, you have none, or you have the other two are opposite, um, matching, where you can't get only one. Uh, what you're going to do is just do that algorithm uh, anywhere, it doesn't matter. So just do it. And then you should be able to figure out another orientation. So then after you do it once, you're going to have to move the top again because as you can see I have two matching and two not matching and we only want one. So we're basically back to just where we started before. So here once again blue works uh, and also yellow, um, not red works. And then we just do the same step. So I'll go over it one last time. Um, so. Actually, we have this in the front, and then we do the algorithm, and we may have to do it twice. In this case, I actually have to do it twice. And then we have the yellow edges solved. So um, look over this, practice this until you have it down, and then move on to the next step, which is going to be the final step, which is going to be solving the yellow or the last layer corners. So thank you for watching.